What's up everybody? Ravenel Ford, Carbine Made Easy. Just stay tuned because this next video is for you. Hey everybody, welcome to Ravenel Ford. If you're watching this video right now, you might be interested in the 2017 Ford Taurus. So stay tuned with us over the next few minutes as I walk around a SEL Ford Taurus and, uh, and show you some of the specs, pricing, and options on it. So this is going to be really good, folks. If you're out there car shopping right now for a Ford Taurus, I, I think you should wait at least until I get to the window sticker in a minute and explain the pricing structure at Ravenel Ford and why so many people drive out here from Charleston to come by. And we're only 15 minutes away from Charleston. So anyway, stay tuned. Let's take a look at this one right here. It's a silver one. It's an SEL. 2017 now this is looking good I'm liking the front end on the Taurus they've definitely refined it and kind of uh, finessed it a little bit on the front made it look a little more smooth you're gonna notice you know over the next year or so when the 2018s start hitting ground they're gonna start looking kind of like that the front end is gonna start squinching down a little more you know do a little Google shot on the new Mustang but um, I mean it's not gonna look like a Mustang in the front but they're really making these Fords look really nice on the front ends and I like how they're doing it so kudos to them Beautiful car. I like the silver in color. You know, you got a nice little gray color right there. These are nice light colors for down in the south, which uh, definitely helps with the heat. So the wheels on this particular vehicle, this Taurus, you got a five-star rim, Michelin tire. I'm trying to see what size they are. Here we go. They're a, uh, well, they're a 235-55 R18. So that's your wheel, that's your tire. Those are Michelin Pilot tires, by the way. Got the nice Taurus badge on the fender. Now we'll take a look at the window sticker. They call it a Moroni label in the car business. Good safety ratings. About every Ford on the lot's got five star ratings, which is great. 3.5 V6 under the hood. I tell people always pay attention to this section where the options are from the manufacturer because that's what's going to start making the price fluctuate from 29,775 up to 33,990. It's important. These are manufacturer things that are added on that makes this into an SCL. Um, 27 on the highway, 18 city, average combined of 21. That's good for fuel economy with a V6 and a vehicle this size. Also pay attention to this. These are things we don't add on the vehicle. Rust proofing, paint sealant, undercoating, closing dock fees, etc. Such items are used to mislead customers, giving more markup to the selling dealer. Beware! Okay? That's the, that's the truth, folks. You ever been to a car store and you looked at the window sticker and it's got another sticker over here called an addendum? And the dealership basically added on a bunch of accessories and stuff to every vehicle that's new on the lot. You know, that might add up to be fifteen dollars to $3,000 dollars above this price right here. That's just not cool. I don't really think dealers should do that. But, you know, I'm not the owner. I don't get to make those decisions. But that's why Ravenel Ford has definitely came a long way over the years. And, uh, and it's less haggling. I mean, if you didn't want that stuff on the car, then you're gonna have to sit there and try to ask them to take it off. And, you know, it just becomes a pain in the butt. So take a look in the rear, looking nice, nice and clean, party in the front, party in the back. It's an SCL, you can run the flex fuel, E85 ethanol, dual exhaust, backup sensors, backup camera, smart key, remote start, let's try it out. Lock the car, hold this two times, booyah. How easy was that? You know, I was trying to do a remote start yesterday on Volkswagens. I must have sat there forever trying to figure, get it to crank up. It said two times on there. I clicked it twice. You had to go boom, 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 like fast. Anyways, that was easy. So that's nice. Looks like you got some LED lighting going around those lights. Let's go ahead and pop open this. Hit that twice. Opens that up. One thing a Taurus will give you is a ton of rear cargo room in the trunk. As you can see right there. And if that wasn't enough, your back seats do fold down for more space. You got some nice shocks there. Pretty good. I'm liking it. Kudos to some of y'all police officers out there to get to drive Tauruses. All right, let's take a look. This is where it gets really good, folks. All right, here you got it. 33990 is what you saw on the window sticker over there. Ravenel Ford discount, $1,666. We sell all new vehicles, 98 over invoice, 32324 Rebate, 3900 Wow. Easy price, $28,424. Thousand dollars if you more savings if you finance with Ford Motor Credit. So use that to save yourself some money. Walk up to another store and say, Look, this is what they're doing. Why can't y'all do stuff like that? Okay, they all can do it, it just depends if they want to do it or not. 
power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. We won't go over every single feature on the interior, but I will hop in the seat and show you a few things. Good looking leather seats. That's real leather in there, folks. No pleather, no leatherette inside of a Ford. I mean, Ford gives you the real deal. And that's nice. I mean, you go and look at a, a new BMW 3 Series, and then you feel the seat, and it feels all cheap, and you're like, leatherette. Like, thank you, ma'am. I'm going to go buy me a Ford, okay, and support the United States of America. All right, so you do got some leather wrapped up on the steering wheel, lots of nice screens on the inside. Now, now that the vehicle's remote started like this, you're wondering, okay, how do I actually get the vehicle engaged in a drive mode? Well, put your foot on the brake, hit this button, and she's alive. A lot of movement going on on the screens. They're high definition. Ford's done a great job on those screens. Ooh, it's Garth. All right, it's country music on Sirius 55. Let's turn that down so we don't get a copyright notice. I hate it when YouTube wants to give me a copyright for background sounds. Good looking high definition screen there. You know, again, you can put the vehicle in reverse, and let's go ahead and test out that backup camera. Okay, just one view on here. If you go buy a truck, you might get three cameras in the back. This one, just one camera, which is plenty enough for me on a sedan. Leather wrapped boot right there. Okay, 12 volt trunk button. One big cup holder. There's not two, just one there, then two here. So I'm assuming that's probably that's probably for the coffee. It looks like it might even heat up in there. Who knows? But that's for your coffee. Does that close up? It sure does. Armrest. You got your sink system in here. So right down in here will be two USB ports, if you can see that, and a 12 volt. For some odd reason, I'm not seeing an auxiliary port on the inside. Up top, you do get sunglass holders lighting, vanity mirror, okay, you got your lights there, your old crap handles up top to hold on when you're going around corners, so, and it's comfortable folks, it really is, comfortable seat in the driver's seat, I can only assume the back seats would be comfortable as well for the back passengers, uh, door opens up nice and wide which is great, and it's solid. Come on down and test drive a new Taurus with us today at Ravenel Ford. If you enjoyed watching the video and hearing my commentary on it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and send me a comment. Let me know what you think of the Taurus and uh, what, how's it compared to the other vehicles out there in its class. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Visit us online at RavenelFord.com. Carbine really is made easy at Ravenel Ford. And don't forget, this video is brought to you by Charleston Car Videos. Real video, real cars, real people.